remedy right here. Yeah. See that they do it. Look, look. See that I do it. You, you kill this and you sip the wine. You start getting a little, ooh, I'm feeling good. Or you gonna go to sleep. Okay. See Bottoms if I up. Do it. This is this is drink one of 14 days of absolute hammeredness. I'm not gonna be sober a single second when I get there. You know, we got Mr. Pussy back here, but you know, bottoms up to a real drinker. Cut. Cut. We are talking. It's been like 10 months since I've been here. I want one a year team. So, you know, I'm about to get my permanent residency, you know what I'm saying? Might as well. Okay, where do, you, where do you want us? Let's go. Orlando, Florida, the United States. Um, well, this, this is not our first time. We've been multiple times, so coming back here, um, you know, not only to record and enjoy, but uh, just because we love Japan so much. I'm into the automotive culture, so um, just exploring, seeing a bunch of uh, cars and shops, um, meeting up with people, um, and really just understanding the car culture as well. So I do film that as well. So we both film two different sides, but it makes uh, a big collaborative for Japan. Where could I like maybe watch it? Every Monday, uh, Every Monday, six thirty. No. Bro, that is so funny, bro. Look at that. Fifth time here and I'm already I got recorded again, bro. I'm just I'm too handsome, I'm too sexy. You know? Too sexy. Not. Too sexy. See, I had to gas my man. You know, I'm trying to get on his level, you know. I, let me get over there. They like she likes the she loves staring at those panties, bro. <laughs> bro, when she asked me, I, I that was really hoping she was not gonna ask me about the jacket, but I don't think they're gonna air that <laughs> no cap, but I mean who knows, bro? Japanese TV be crazy, so they might hear anything. I don't know. Well, Beautiful. with that being said, we are back in Japan. So welcome uh, to us and welcome to the vlogs. This is my third time and I think Jalil's fifth time. So we have a lot more experience, a lot more friends and a lot more cool stuff to show you guys. Uh, we've already got stuff set up for tonight and the couple days that uh, are coming up for this weekend. So stay tuned to that. But we are headed to the hotel for the first time. We just got off of the plane and uh, we're gonna check in, throw our stuff in the hotel and then we are gonna go get some grub hopefully see a lot of cars and uh, do some fun stuff so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy these vlogs shout out to Dre who is actually back home and he is gonna be my editor for my trip so we're here for just over two weeks and uh, I'm gonna be uploading to him he's gonna be chopping it up so that one I can film more and two we can get more videos out so we will check in with you guys later to start off the vlog figured I'd show you guys uh, well, I guess my second time being in the room, but this is a different APA than we stay in before. So main streets are right there. The other one I had was tucked away, um, but super nice actually come out and there's just a, I don't know, a little ledge, whatever. But every time I stay at a different hotel, it's a different setup. So this one, typical Japan. 
small room, but I will say this one seems more roomy. Uh, has like some decor, maybe a bit nicer colors and stuff. This one seems a little bit fancier than the one we stayed at before, but you do have to put the key in to turn the lights and TV and all that on, but check it out. More than enough room for one, even two. Uh, this would fit perfectly fine. Yeah, little station to get on the computer. Check out the fit, you know, the travel fit. Come on, man. Let me know if you guys like these hoodies as well. Um, this is a tester, so I like them. We'll see, but time to get unpacked and uh, freshen up a little bit. And then I think Jalil's gonna come meet me down here when he's done, and then we're gonna go get some food and uh, start our Japan journey. So you guys are gonna be brought along. Um, I'm gonna try to go a bit more in depth with, you know, food, how to get around, some of the city stuff that's not only cars, because um, I've heard a lot of people want to see more of that stuff. One, so that when they're coming out, you know, they can know what to expect, but also just because I've been told that it's nice to watch. So let's freshen up, and I'll catch you guys in a little while. And we are out and about in Akihabara. So tonight I am bringing some clothing for a friend of mine that, uh, yeah, that thing's sick, that uh, he couldn't buy it from Japan, so he asked me to bring it to him. So we're gonna be meeting up with him tonight, and he invited out some car friends, um, Hirotaka, Tio, I don't know who else is coming tonight, but these are the friends from the old vlogs. So you guys should remember them. But um, yeah, we're just gonna walk through, go grab some grub, and then within a couple hours, I think either meet up on Main Aki Street or we'll go to UDX and post up. I guess it kind of just depends on the weather. I mean, we could still but, go, like, I mean. No, I'm just saying like where we're gonna go hang and chill oh, and yeah. stuff, so. You know I mean? I don't care. This, to me, this is beautiful weather. I've taken this over a Florida no, heat day. I'm starving, I'm thirsty. I almost wanted to stop at like a little Lawson or Food Mart or something, but I'm like, I'm gonna hold off for that first meal. So I think we're gonna go get soba. We'll see how the spot is. And then, um, yeah, just take it from there. Food vlogs, walking vlogs. Most of the stuff that we're gonna be doing is gonna be walking and getting around compared to driving, which is kind of nice because it's more realistic. You guys are gonna watch all these YouTubers that spend all this money on driving. It's super expensive for tolls here parking, fuel, everything. The main way you get around is bikes and walking. So everywhere we go on this trip, for the most part, we'll be walking. And uh, hopefully you guys can learn some stuff and get what it's kind of like to be like as an actual tourist or yeah. like enjoy or not. Like that, that, that's specifically what I'm trying to do. Like with the head mount, it's very much like like, what would it be if I'm just a regular guy, like, you know, I saved some money over a year and I want to take a trip, like, you just get to see, like, just the ins and outs, the little small things you don't see. Like, perfect example, you'll see videos of, like, UDX and stuff, but you don't know how to get inside UDX. You don't know what stairs to take, if there's multiple entrances, you know, there's a bunch of little just nuances and small things, and, you know, like, all right, you could, you, could, you could call me an elitist, but I eat, I will eat. Bro, I'm not trying to see another YouTuber on some, oh, you know, I've been eating out of the Lawson's for three days. Brother, that, like, that's like that's Onigiri is not your meal, bro. Brother, Go like, eat some legit stuff. I want to see you go to a spot and be like, I don't know anything on here, and I'm just going to try it. I'm going to eat it. Like, I want to see some real culture. Because think about it. We all love cars, but you want to see the culture behind the cars, too. You know what I'm saying? The people who, you know, bringing the cars to us. So I kind of want to have a bit more of that, a bit more culture. Bit more culture here okay so for the use that do not know or unaware walking through the streets of Tokyo not every place that you go in you sit and order a lot of these places are like this they give you a menu outside you pick what you want you can use Google Translate if you'd like and then you pay for it bring the ticket in sit and the chef or the guy making the food makes it for you and gives it to you there so you don't have to go and sit Oh. Buddy. Hey Larry. Hey Larry. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Boy. First meal. Oh my god, that shit smells good. Listen, for all you kids out there, break them. 
get your little stuff out. Go ahead, first way. And dive in, bro. Do I, do I mix it? Come on. Oh my yeah, you gotta get the mix on it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Look at this. Look at this. And usually, and usually I'm gonna grab a spoon in a sec, but I just wanna show you guys, like. I feel like the noodles are hotter than the broth, but I don't mind. For all the foreigners watching this, you can see the angle of the building. That's a big camera building. Right behind these buildings is the main street for Aki. And uh, if you guys cut in between any of these buildings, you can see there's cut throughs. Um, what is that one right there? The big blue building? Or the oh, trader or something? I think trader's further down, but I know it's about that blue building. That there. Any of these cut throughs cut through to the UDX building. We usually go around this side or there's another entrance, but uh, all of this is like office buildings. There's food spots, all of that, but everybody knows it as the car spot for parking up. There used to be underground car meets and stuff. So Tilly's Coffee. Find the Tilly's Coffee at UDX and the, I don't even know what that says. Come out through the doors, take the stairs or the elevator down. You want the elevator or the stairs? Elevator. Take the elevator or the stairs and then uh, enjoy yourself. You're not really supposed to record and whatever else, but there's a, High pitch ringing noise. It's mental. <laughs> Shoulder checked me, bro. Walking through, um, obviously, Japan has plenty of vending machines everywhere you go, but right when you open through UDX, everybody that parks up is uh, able to get some food and snacks. But this is the parking. It's expensive to park here. I think on the bottom floor, it is long term parking so you're gonna get a lot more high-end expensive cars it is also hit or miss so you can walk through here and there be nothing or you can walk through here and there's an insane amount of crazy cars depends on the weekends depends on weekdays depends on what time it is but yeah we're gonna see if we find anything if not we do have to go back to the hotel to get the clothes for Tio and then uh, we're gonna be meeting him here in a little bit so we see some cars, you guys will see them. Yeah. Solid 180 on some stocks and stock height, but I think we have seen them here before. The quad ones is dope. Got to dive into some Cow Cow Kitchen cream filled delicacies. Go get you guys some. We were going to gatekeep the spot, but you can go find Cow Cow over by the JR station. Uh, I think there's a RV1 Odyssey, there's a MR2 here. There's not too much here. It's gonna be a Tuesday evening, but I don't know. Might have a surprise or two down there. Oh, you have your duck in a bite here, so when you do, you're gonna know why I'm out here fucking moaning. <laughs> oh yeah. We didn't have much luck at UDX, so we went back to the hotel, grabbed this. My backpack also has some stuff. And then we're gonna go meet up with Tio like I talked about. And then uh, some more people are gonna be coming later, so. Bakari Sweat. Brother. Number one water of Japan. I swear to God, this is fucking fountain of life right here. Ion supply water. 
has a little oomph to it. A Lambo just passed by with lights and crazy noises. Missed it, your boy's hands are full. Gonna go uh, to Don Quixote, which is like the supermarket of snacks, drinks, and anything you can think of, and uh, see how the night plays out. Look at that. You're eight six, bro. I feel like I shouldn't ask because if I had, I, <laughs> I, I feel like that's bad, bro. I feel like if you ask and be like, "Yo, like, do y'all X Y Z?" You would not drive that Escalade, my boy. Yes, I would. Up into the uh, it's a little, <laughs> you know, it's like a dream, coming into bro. the it's parking lot, thing. bro. This is really a fever dream. Fast and furious. <laughs> We ended up making it to Odaiba. Uh, we just got some food in the mall and uh, got some money out the ATM and we're wasting some time until it's time to go back to Akihabara at nine. We've got like an hour and a half. Oh, oh, oh. Last time we came here, not only was it the daytime to see the Gundam, but uh, it was under construction. So all of this was roped off and they were working on it. So it's actually, Super cool seeing it at night, lit up. Yeah, that's cool. Jalil's got his little headband on. <laughs> yes, best Uber out, best Uber around. And then uh, we go back to PA, go meet up with some friends in a little bit. So, yeah, I know. Concrete jungle where peas are made of. There's nothing you can't do. Yo. So it's pretty cool. They have like, obviously, the other statue and then this statue. That's a rainbow bridge? Yes. That's rainbow bridge. And then, I don't know what this bay is called, but big water. We were here during the daytime. Jalil and I came in the last vlogs that we came out. And um, yeah, so we hadn't come here at night. It's super pretty. Weren't like able to really see all of the lights and stuff, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful.
We are with some of the truck boys. Uh, never met the one on the end. Met him a couple times. Uh, they got some cool old stuff. And then uh, he was with us when we went for the cruise. But we're kind of tired. We, we were slumpy town. I don't even think I'm tired at this point. I'm just in disbelief that like, just look at the dynamic of what everybody's wearing, what everybody's driving. Nah, bro. And then, we're tired, bro. No, no, no. No, no. And then you got a white dude and a black guy just hanging out like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> nah, we're, t we're tired, bro. I'm mad tired, but glad these guys came out. There's still some people coming, so um, we're just going to be hanging. He is drop top. He is long bed hard body. And he is bagged high looks. And then there's just a random Crown? Crown Vic on proxies in the back. So, big mix, but we're here for it. Hey! <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Well, I guess the night just keeps getting better. Obviously, we met up with some of the truck boys, but Hirotaka brought out his Civic boys. So they all just rolled up. This is the first time walking over and seeing them because I was talking about the uh, JDM Front Integra. Brother, this is tough. I'm telling you, bro. Crew stars. Crew stars for life, baby. Now, these guys have shown so much love. Um, like pop out for us every single time come and hang out drive hours and hours buy us grub they're the boys so obviously we had to meet up with them uh coming out here to japan and uh hanging out in aki let me just point something out the fact that they just leave in the car is part like think about it they're not even close to the car and they just leaving it parked wallets out too down. wallets there Bro, everything, everything. Even uh, with the, the red sedan, he's it's on. It's because they well, it's because they know that like they're with the big bad Americans. That's why ain't the nobody gonna mess with them. Bad. For those of you that are new to the vlog, this is Hirotaka. He took us out and about last time we were in Japan. Showed nothing but love. But funny cool thing about that, it is left-hand drive. No, it was not imported from the United States. I think they only made what, 600 or something he was That's telling us? Story he told us. They only make like 600 left-hand drive ones factory from Japan. Well, guess what? There is not only one more, but two more as well. So I don't know how rare or dope this lineup is, but you've got one, two, three out of 600 different cars. Six on the boys. And this is Sir Taka himself. <laughs> two strong zeros if you guys don't know what those are it is basically a dollar fifty and you get nine percent lemon alcohol that boy jimmy oaks i think was off these uh forever ago every time that we come we get cranked off i was telling him every time we come we get cranked off these Brother, these zeros. I and tried then, to leave fucking five cents in the fucking shit and he chased me down and gave it to me. I was like, fuck, I did not want this shit. Well, nine, nine percent for some lemon alcohol and you spend a dollar fifty. That's it. I spent, I spent four dollars on these two and that egg bread, softest bread you'll ever have in your life. But uh, yeah, we're walking back to the cars and then I think we're gonna take a drive to Shibuya. Um, Tokyo Lowrider and his boys, all of the super well done Impalas, um, chrome plated, crazy hydraulics, all that stuff, they usually sh uh, cruise in Shibuya. So I think we're gonna go and do the same thing. Hopefully get some cool rollers and videos. And uh, well, we may just have, this is vlog one. There's already so much content. Um, super, super hyped on that. 
and uh, starting off the trip right. So, vlog one, lots of cars, lots of fun, lots of food, and lots of good people. Oh my god. Kid has never <laughs> drank in his life. Your your cousin, I'm sending this to your cousin, bro. They can't drink either, they're pussies too. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, big boy! Come on, big boy! Come on, Come on. big boy! Come on. It's yeah. not that easy to get out of a goddamn easy. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Oh, we are in Japan with the boys. Oh, hold on, hold on. My phone is somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Give me my fucking drink, man. Let's go. Right, come on, let's kill this shit. Yoink. Yoink. Open that shit, man. Okay. Put that on the third. あ、そう、映像を撮るから日本語で喋ってるのを撮りたいらしくて。ああ、なるほど。ああ、俺俺と喋ってる時に日本語で喋ってくれればいい。ああ、わかりました。ただ、日本に来てるっていうことを多分。